Hey, hello. In this video tutorial, we're gonna show you the BeagleBoard Exam running Android ICS 4.03. As you can see, we have a DVI monitor over here. So, scrolling to the menu. These are the multiple screens as we're gonna see, and it is the menu over here. Okay, so first we're gonna see the settings and the you know the Android version. And uh, so we're gonna have a look. It's running an Android version 4.0.03 on the Linux kernel 2.6.37 on which I have to compile the Linux kernel. Okay, so uh, other things like you know the videos and the 3D things we're gonna see. That's the Arrowbot performance app launcher. And we're gonna see some 3D applications running with the help of OpenGL. Okay, so here we're gonna see it's a custom application made with the help of OpenGL running over here. And other things, you know, like this. It's all all other just simple OpenGL applications. And other things like the videos, we're gonna just move to the video section in gallery. Yes. So it's a bit slow, however, the performance is not so up to the mark. You can see the video running. It's the throughput is uh, just you know satisfactory. We're gonna play the video over here. Play it. Okay. The video. There's no latency. The Beagle board is just playing the video correctly. There's no. You know the throughput is awesome here, but. Oh yes, as you can see, this we're gonna be back from the video section. So, moving on to the next part, we're gonna see the browser over here, the net connection. That is the net connection is accessed by the DHCP by the router. So, the net connection, as you can see, the properties, the internet is on. And we can see the browser over here. It's the browser. Yes, it's running. Turn the net. <laughs> it's finally working. We are not just using a uh, USB keyboard. Otherwise, we're gonna just use the keyboard. Uh, yeah, we are using a USB mouse over here. Net is quite a bit slow. So it's basically a security warning given over by uh, okay just we're just continuing over it and we're gonna move to the Android apps page and as any other normal tablet we can just install any of the applications as we just require 